Hey everybody, Jason here with another important announcement in big box development. So we just added, I just put out uh, 6.3 beta 2. And with it, I've added the ability to customize your own views and even create themes. Uh, now do keep in mind, this is only step one in our customization implementations here that we're going to be putting out. But you can already do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, what you're looking at right here, obviously it's not a whole lot different than your default uh, clear logo platforms view, but you've noticed I've made the uh, the wheel a lot uh, a lot bigger. I removed the details and made the, the box up top a lot bigger. So stuff like that you can do relatively easily. It doesn't take a whole lot of a whole lot of effort. It will take a little bit of learning, but it's not that difficult to do. But also, if you know what you're doing with XAML, you can do some pretty amazing stuff and build your own your own themes uh, without uh, without too much effort. And we will be working with theme creators to make sure that everything is working great for them uh, during the betas here. So this is just one example of something that I've played with. Uh, but we're going to go through, exit out of this, and go into how to create your own themes here. So. What you're looking at right now is my LaunchBox folder. And inside the LaunchBox folder, after you start up uh, 6.2 beta 3, you'll notice there's a new themes folder inside your LaunchBox folder. So if we open up the themes folder, what you're going to see by default is just this default folder as well as this readme file. Now, you've noticed I've already created another theme called custom here. But in order to create another theme, all we have to do is go ahead and copy Control C on the default folder and then Control V to paste it and you have a copy of that default theme. And then we're going to rename the folder to let's just call it demo uh, for today. And we, we now have three themes. We have the default theme, we have the custom theme that I had previously created, and we have this demo theme in here. Now inside these theme folders is a views folder. Uh, and we put it we put this subfolder in here simply because we plan to add more stuff in here. Uh, in the future, hopefully maybe even before the 6.3 uh, official release. But inside the views folder, you'll notice you have all these XAML files. Now we've previously discussed XAML. Uh, XAML is very similar to uh, XML and HTML, but it is specific to the .NET platform. Um, and it really is what is giving us the ability to do this uh, and do it without a tremendous amount of effort. Uh, and it will give you the power to not only build custom views, but even add custom controls if you're a developer. Uh, so I really believe that this is a better solution than pretty much anything out there. Um, we will be working with the community to allow support for pretty much anything. So you can customize anything and everything in Big Box. But for now, you'll notice I, I open these up with Visual Studio. I'm going to go ahead and pull up. Um, one of these this is the platform wheel filters view and this is what I used for the custom view previously this is what I had already tweaked uh, to get things a little bit bigger and all I did really was that I resized these column width definitions to make the left column a lot bigger and then I removed a grid and I changed these grid dot row properties to put things in the right place and that's really all I did um, it was very very minimal amount of effort to make the changes that you saw in the previous view. Now, obviously, you can do a lot more and you can put a lot of work into this stuff. Uh, and at some point, you're going to want to learn how to use XAML, um, which is this language right here that looks similar to HTML and, and XML. Uh, there's all kinds of tutorials like that for, for that kind of stuff online. So we won't get into that right, in, right away. But I am going to show you, we're going to walk through a few quick minor things you can do just to get you started here. Uh, I'm going to close out of this. Uh, take note that this is Visual Studio. You don't have to have Visual Studio in order to, to work on this stuff. You can use a simple text editor, and I'll show you an example of that. Uh, I'm going to go in. So this is our new demo view. And I'm going to go into, uh, let's say, the text list view, which is the text list that's, that's, uh, done on, that's used for the games list. It's your text list view for uh, the games list. And if we go in, I'm just going to edit this with Notepad++, and this is a free text editor that uh, lots of people have, but you can use any text editor for this stuff. 
Uh, but what you're looking at here is the text list that shows up on the left, uh, your list of games. Uh, and you can tweak this stuff relatively easily. So let's, for example, let's say we wanted to change the font of the list box. So we have a list box here that's for the index, and that is what's going to show up when you go left. And then we have a list box here um, that's for the items themselves. And you'll notice there's already some, some default styling in here, uh, but all this stuff can be overwritten. So for example, we want to change the font family. I'm going to say font family equals, let's do something ugly. Let's do courier new. Okay. And then I can also change the foreground color, uh, for example, nice and easy. So foreground equals red. So now when we load up big box, when we change to our demo view, we will, we should see uh, the, di the different font on the list box and it should be red. So let's give that a shot. I'll load up big box here. And I'm going to go in and change my view, go back out and I'm going to go into options and under general theme on top there, you'll notice that there is an item for every folder that shows up in that uh, themes folder. So we have the new demo um, theme showing up here. So once we set the demo theme, we can back out and you notice we're back to the default for this view because we haven't tweaked this view. This view is exactly the same as as it was in the uh, in the default uh, theme. So if we get into, let's say, go into Arcade, you'll notice now for the text list view, we have red text and granted it's super ugly, <laughs> but we have red text and we have the courier new font. So just one simple example of something you can do. Let's see, let's, let's see if we can pull off one more thing before we end the video here as far as uh, what's possible. I, like I said, there's, the possibilities are endless. Uh, you can customize a whole lot more than fonts and colors. You can customize the positions and locations of pretty much everything. So let's see. Um, what do we want to do here? Uh, let's uh, make, uh, let's say we, we don't like the logo on top. We think it's, we, we think it's too big. Um, so I'm going to say max height on this. I'm going to say max height equals uh, something stupid small. Let's say 50. Okay, on that image that shows up on the top of the list. So we'll save that and we'll load up big box. And so when we go into, let's do something else other than arcade. Let's go into NES. And you notice how small the logo is on top of the list there. So the possibilities are endless. You can hide things. You can keep them from showing. You can add new things in. Uh, it will need the data data to, be, to bind behind it. So that is why in some cases, if you want to create uh, new things, which is what is the most exciting. If you want to create new things, you might need to work with us during this beta testing phase uh, so that we can work with you to get you the data you need in your view. Um, going forward, we are going to be adding a plugin system of sorts so that it will be relatively easy for you, if you are a developer, to create your own control in .NET, in C Sharp or, Vi or Visual Basic, create a DLL, put it in with the Launchbox folder, and reference it from inside your XAML. And once you are able to do that, you can basically do anything. And we're going to provide you the ability to get, get access to controls uh, and get access to the game data and pretty much everything else so you can build whatever you want if you're a developer. If you're not a developer, you'll still be able to tweak the styles and, and come up with views and all that stuff. This XAML stuff is incredibly powerful. It's very easy to reference images and all kinds of stuff and even put in some logic directly in the in the XAML uh, for your views. Um, now you are going to be a little bit limited without uh, without adding any code behind it uh, because you'll, you'll be using the same code that we provided but that's where the plugins come in come into play that we're going to add very soon. 
So I hope you guys are as excited about this as I am. I can't wait to see what you guys can, can create. Uh, I've been super, super, um, I've been working on this really, really hard. I've been killing myself trying to get this out because I'm so excited to see what the community can create, especially the, the hyperspin community. Um, ha they've, they've, ex a lot of members in the hyperspin community have expressed a lot of interest in helping build these custom views. So I'm super excited about that. And I hope we can come up with some awesome stuff. Like I said, work with me on the forums. Uh, if, if things aren't working the way you want them to, when you're playing with these themes, let me know. And we will work together to uh, make this system stable and uh, easy to work with. Uh, I will say one more thing before, before, we, be, before we end this video here. Um, do keep in mind that as you experiment, uh, you're bound to put in some bad XAML, some bad syntax from time to time. And you will notice that Big Box right now, as, as is right now in the beta, it doesn't handle those situations very well. So you will need to keep Task Manager handy to kill Big Box when needed. If you mess up and you're experimenting and you mess up the XAML or something, you'll probably just see a black screen. You might see an error message. So do keep in mind that uh, you are going to need to experiment and you are going to need to be able to kill Big Box, uh, kill the task. Uh, and so you are going to run into a few things like that while you're developing these themes. So keep that in mind. Um, if you break... Uh, if you if you break big box beyond repair uh, and you can't figure out what to do, all you got to do is go into your themes folder and just remove the active theme, um, move it somewhere else, and then it'll it'll go back to the default and you won't have any issues anymore. So it it, it can't hurt to experiment, and I hope you guys have fun with it. Let me know how it goes. Thank you all very much. Bye bye.